As the CIO of NOV, my job is to make sure that IT infrastructure and security enable our business to power the people who power the world. Our 27,000 employees across 60 countries working with thousands of partners, suppliers, and customers require secure, reliable technology anytime, anywhere, on almost any device, just like we expect electricity and water to just always work. Over the last several years, I led a secure digital transformation that has made NOV more agile and able to quickly adapt to meet the challenges thrown our way. Like many enterprises, we had a legacy IT environment that included data centers, hundreds of branch offices, factories, and OT systems connected via a hub and spoke network. This was protected by a traditional castle and moat security model with ever expanding layers of security appliances for each new threat vector and we had multiple VPN technologies for remote access. It was expensive and not flexible enough for our increasingly mobile and dynamic business. I needed to reduce cost, improve security, make life easier for both our users and IT administrators, and I needed it to work all the time. In other words, we had to gain resiliency. It had to be a win across all these goals, so we set out two main priorities. Our first was to be cloud smart and take advantage of where it can help. I had heard way too many horror stories of cloud first mass migrations causing extreme cost overruns and business crippling outages. We had to be smart and figure out where cloud could add value and drive out cost. We also needed to be evergreen. We didn't want to replace one legacy tech debt with a new tech debt. Our second thing was we had to transform our networks and security thinking. Internet first was our future. Our global MPLS network was excessively expensive and our security appliances were end of life, requiring a multi-million dollar upgrade. The majority of our internet traffic was encrypted, which we were unable to see. We knew the bad guys were hiding in that traffic and compromising our users, then moving laterally to access high value targets. We wanted to follow the maxim, never trust, always verify, which we later learned was called a zero trust architecture. This meant enforcing access policies based on multiple contexts, users' role, location, device posture, and even the applications they were permitted to access. We also knew that we might need a new horse, being based in Texas, sometimes your old horse can't adapt and you need a new one. Sure, you love it and are in a comfort zone, but you also know it can't do what is needed next. Our existing technology vendors and channel partners proposed we buy more of what they were already selling us. Don't change, double down with what got us where we're at. They could help us win in a couple of goals, but not all of them. We would need to explore new partners with new approaches to achieve all of our goals. A successful digital transformation is a journey and not an end destination. It doesn't happen all at once. We drove our journey in multiple phases with learnings influencing the successive phases. Phase one was our collaboration solution. In this phase, Microsoft Office 365 was adopted. Collaboration and sharing of large data sets was painful and we had outgrown our email system. We rapidly began migrating hundreds of terabytes of email, files, SharePoint data, and all sorts of stuff. Even with our legacy network and security appliances, we immediately started delivering productivity value and flexibility to the business. Phase two was secure access to the internet and SaaS applications from anywhere. This phase had three major steps. Step one enabled secure access to the internet and SaaS application through Zscaler Zero Trust Exchange. All of this was deployed on our existing legacy MPLS global network in 60 days for the entire company, simultaneously while phase one was executing. It immediately gave us resiliency and increased our security posture. Only then could we advance to step two to eliminate our MPLS networks and provide local internet breakouts. This has resulted in millions of dollars in savings, faster connections, and enabled direct access to SaaS applications, such as Office 365, by not having to go through a hub location. Step three was to turn on TLS inspection capabilities to detect and block those hidden threats. This significantly improved our risk posture. Phase three was a VPN replacement with zero trust security. 
We replaced multiple remote access VPN solutions and provided fast and secure zero trust network access, known as ZTNA, to private apps using Zscaler private access. This allowed NOV employees and our third-party contractors policy-based access to over 7,500 applications in multiple data centers and public cloud regions directly over the internet. We did this a few years before the COVID lockdown, so we were fully prepared to support our users' need to work from home without any interruption. Phase four was to move our private apps to the cloud and consolidate data centers. This involved two major steps involving different cloud providers. In step one, we moved our critical customer-facing applications into AWS. And in step two, we moved our many internal regional data centers, which lack the scale needed to operate efficiently, to Azure. Phase five is zero trust connectivity for offices. This phase of our transformation will be the most exciting and was a learning coming from all of our employees working remotely from home. If our employees can work fine remotely in a zero trust manner, why can't they do that when they're at one of our facilities? Do we even need the network? How can we provide ZTNA to a device without identity, such as printers, barcode scanner guns, time clocks, IoT, and our OT systems? Legacy networks are security risks due to the lack of identity, and we're going to replace it with zero trust access. With zero trust connectivity, our offices will become like an internet cafe, and we will no longer extend our corporate network to every office. This is a very important step to eliminate the lateral threat movement risk. Many of these phases are completed and some are still ongoing due to contractual commitments. And phase five is just getting started. The journey hasn't always been a straight line, but I can proudly say that we are overachieving on our goals. Here are some of the lessons I learned from our transformational journey. Moving from legacy networks and security to zero trust is an architectural change. It requires cultural and mindset changes, so identify forward-thinking leaders early in the journey who help drive this initiative. Choose an integrated platform that not only secures users, but also workloads, IoT, and OT systems. Select a partner who has a highly reliable security cloud. Zscaler's over 10 years of operational excellence in managing the largest security cloud has delivered us high performance service without interruptions to our business. Don't boil the ocean and just get started. Look for small wins that can be achieved quickly and drive organizational acceptance of this journey. Our security digital transformation has made NOV business a lot more agile. It has saved millions of dollars, improved user productivity and reduced our cyber risk. These improvements would not have been possible without our partnership with Zscaler.